Hello crazy fam, welcome back to another video. This is a sit down video, even though technically I do have you on a vlog tripod. But I wanted to start it off here because I got new artwork I'm gonna show you guys in a vlog coming up. I just decided to do this video today because I have two other videos where I talk about my boobs and you guys seem to like it. I did a going bra free video, I did a nipple piercings video, and they have great reviews so it seems like you guys want to know about my boobs and my opinion on my boobs. So today I am going to do the pros of being part of the itty bitty titty committee because I might as well be their spokesperson and I definitely think there are pros to it so we're gonna go over all of them but because of the new artwork going on in the room I had to figure out where am I gonna place you guys now in my sit down videos what do you guys want to see behind you while I tell you about the pros of my boobs hmm here 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 I either way we will find a place for you maybe we will do the typical at the desk shot then the typical at the bed shot. And we're not gonna do the shot of my actual boobs because that's not this kind of video. So if you can't tell, I'm feeling a little bit more casual when it comes to filming today because I feel like this is a more intimate topic. So we're in this together. You're in my bedroom with me talking about boobs. And the first one I wanna start off with because I think it is one of the most crucially important things that you cannot forget that is definitely taken for granted I know for me I used to have such such huge boob insecurities and I've definitely come to grow out of it at least most of it and I talked about it in my previous videos which I will link down below but one of the biggest things I never really thought about or took for granted basically was the health benefits so if you didn't know obviously bigger boobs are very very heavy like in insanely heavy which has multiple things that can you know not be so wonderful about it but one of the biggest things is back pain I have back pain partially because my posture is horrible but I can't imagine how bad my posture would be or how bad my back pain would be if my boobs were so tiny like my body easily supports my chest and I know friends that talk about it all the time they're like my back hurts it feels like I'm like sagging forward all the time and I'm like I just have bad posture, so I'm good in that regards. And one of the things that I never even realized or thought about, but now that I know, I'm like, well, that kind of makes sense, is the fact that it's actually easier to detect cancer. And I can't say the word t detect very well, but you get what I mean. There's not as much breast tissue. There's not as much places for like breast cancer to be. It's easier to feel if anything's going on there. And it's, you know, more likely you're gonna find out sooner if you don't have big boobs. So, you know, benefits for us in the Small Titty Committee. We will find out about cancer potentially sooner, but let's hope that none of us ever have to be in that position at all because it's a big deal and I've known people that have gone through that and I can't imagine the struggle they're going through. No matter if they have small boobs or big boobs, that is a huge, huge struggle and I just appreciate that some of us are gonna have an easier time detecting it if we have to be in that situation. And let's just hope none of us ever have to be and let's go more on the happier side of things and let's talk about clothing. Even though as we speak, I'm literally just wearing like a sports bra tank top because a lot of times when I film, I like to wear black and let's move to a different position because you guys don't like it when I stay in the same position because the retention time is horrible. But it's funny, I was literally on my desk and not using my normal tripod and using my lights, so I'm just carrying around my ring. So let's go to a new position and let's talk about clothing. Because clothing, obviously, is very important. And it's much easier when you have smaller boobs in some regards. I'm not going to say that is a walk into the park if you have small boobs and you're trying to find clothing. That's not what I'm saying. But I am saying that clothing does have some benefits when you have smaller boobs. One of the biggest benefits about having small boobs is definitely like the clothing. I know it's a visual thing, but I can't not mention it because I spent so, so many years hating my boobs, hating trying things on, hating going bra shopping. I stopped the bra shopping completely and that helped with a lot of my insecurities. But one of the biggest things that I started to appreciate once I started appreciating my own chest was going shopping because there's a lot of things that are a lot easier for us if you're one of us things are easier and one of the biggest things that is gonna be easier is the fact that combo sets most times if you have smaller boobs you're gonna be kind of matching on the top and bottom you know you're gonna be a small on the top you're gonna be a small on the bottom because your chest kind of matches up with everything else for me though I do have bigger thighs and a little bit of a bigger butt so that doesn't always work for me but it works more often than anybody I know that has big chests are like I just can't buy combo sets 
And I'm like, were combo sets only made for us? Because it seems kind of silly. Is there really that many people that match on the top and the bottom? Because I hear so many people complain about the fact they don't match. And a lot of times I can buy bathing suits that are the same size, especially if they have like adjustable straps a little bit. I can definitely get away with it. I don't have to worry about, you know, the top being like way too tiny or the bottoms being way too tiny because I got a bigger top, like a smaller top or whatever combo you look at. And so I definitely appreciate that. I am going to interrupt you right now to say I need your help. Please, 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 if you haven't heard it before in my videos or Graham Stephan's videos where he constantly says hit the like button, please, please, please go ahead and hit that like button and that subscribe button down below. Share this video with a friend who's feeling insecure about their boobs or share with a friend who has big boobs and be like, ha, I got some pros for you. Either way, I would really appreciate your help and let's get right into the rest of this video. I always forget which direction it is. I believe it's this way. And then the other thing besides combo sets, they come in, you know, bathing suits, they come in pajamas, they come in all that different stuff, is the fact that like tops, I have a way easier time finding tops than my other friends that have larger chests because I don't have to worry about, is it going to be too tight? Is it something going to slip out? Is it going to be showing more cleavage than I want to be showing? And that is up to you on how much cleavage you're showing. I'm not saying you have to hide or anything like that if you have bigger boobs. But all I'm saying is if you want to cover up, it's a lot easier when you have smaller boobs. It's a lot easier to find something that's going to fit the way you want it to fit. Also, a lot of like crop tops and cute little tiny tops are meant for people with small boobs. It's not like they're supportive enough or they can hide a big enough supportive enough bra for you and it just doesn't work. So most times, I don't have a problem. I can go down the top aisle and basically almost every single top will fit me right. The only thing that does suck a little bit, even though we are talking about the pros here, I do have a lot of my insecurities gone, but one thing I do hate is there are certain like dresses or certain tops where I just don't fill them out. And I bet you feel the struggle too and it just kind of sucks because you're like, I really like it, I just only if I had bigger boobs. Or sometimes I will see advertisements for clothing and I'm like, does it come with the boobs with it? Because there's no way in heck that's gonna work on me. <laughs> but I've come to appreciate and I think you should too, especially since there are a huge physical element. We talked about the health a little bit, which went over kind of like the back pain and all that, but there is a physical side of it, like literally being physically active side of small boobs that is a huge benefit as I am wearing a sports bra. I, even though this is a supportive top, I don't need to be wearing a supportive top because the one thing about small boobs is obviously we've talked about, they don't weigh as much, so they don't sag as much. There isn't as much support needed. So working out is so, so much easier because I don't have to feel like I'm like, taping my boobs down to go like do yoga type of thing. I don't have to worry about that all half the time. I don't have to wear a sports bra. I could wear honestly a tank top. I could do sports workouts completely butt ass naked and I have in my apartment, I won't lie. And it's not too big of a deal because I don't have to worry about my boobs bouncing or hitting me or hitting my face or feeling sore or anything like that. Sometimes they do like to go a little bit or bounce a little bit more than I want to in a workout if I'm not wearing something supportive, but it's not as much of a deterrent or um, pain in the butt while I'm working out. And then also you also have to think, Working out isn't always just in the gym, you adult folk. So the workouts we do at home in our bedrooms, that is much easier with smaller boobs because I don't have to worry about taking my bra off or anything. I don't have to keep my bra on while I'm working out at home, if you know what I mean, sex. Um, I don't have to wear a bra during that. It's completely fine, like it's not, it's just not in the way. It's not some giant thing hanging from my chest. Even though I still want implants, I'm not gonna lie, I'm talking about the pros. I will someday probably be doing videos on my consultation and getting them done and my opinions afterwards and my recovery, all that. I will definitely show you that experience, but that is about a couple thousand dollars down the road. I have the money right now, I just don't wanna spend it on that. I have other things that I need to be spending my money on, but someday, you'll get that more boob content, but for now, I'm going to appreciate what I have. I hope you appreciate what you have and know that you never need to get implants. Only get them if you truly want them. Don't get them for someone else. Don't get them because you feel like you are supposed to or you should or whatever reasons. Only do them for yourself. I've wanted them for a long time, so someday I will be getting them. But for now, I want to talk about the appreciation. Appreciation. I have no idea what I'm singing, but either way, Physical is a lot easier. Yeah, I have no idea what that is. Who knows if that will stay and if it does, please ignore it and I'm just in a weird energetic type of mood right now and I, it's like I can't not film so you're getting the weird content today. 
But either way, physical everything is so much easier when you have smaller boobs. And then the last thing I want to talk about is obviously the visual aspect of it. We talked about clothing. We talked about like how there's like the medical and the physical side of the boobs and the clothing kind of is visual. It is very visual, but it's more like when I talked about clothing, I wanted you guys to get across that it's it's just easier. It's um systematically easier the way the system is for clothing. But as for the actual literal visual side of things, I'm sorry folks, if you're one of the ones watching this and you have big boobs or you know people with big boobs, then sag, 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 sag is real. And there is nothing wrong with boob sagging. It is a completely natural thing. But it's also something that people with small boobs don't really have to worry about. We don't have to really worry about as much doing workouts to try to prevent sagging or worrying about the fact that someday our boobs aren't going to be hanging as high as they were before because for the most part, smaller boobs, they kind of stay where they are. They sag a little bit, but it's not as noticeable as someone else with much bigger boobs. So I'm pretty happy about the fact that I don't have to worry about sagging as much right now. My boobs just constantly look kind of perky. Though I will talk about this one thing which may totally be TMI is someday when I do get my consultation again, because I have had a consultation for breast implants before, I decided it wasn't the time for me to do it, but I did have the consultation and I learned something kind of interesting that completely and utterly makes sense, which I do want to mention, which is why I feel like sometimes my boobs don't look perky. I have no upper breast tissue. So right here, it's literally just like, it's bone. Like I can feel my ribs, it's bone, there is no breast tissue, but I have a lot of lower breast tissue, which makes me actually a C cup. And most people are like, you're a C cup, like you don't look like a C cup. And I really don't look like a C cup and you might not always consider a C cup as an itty bitty titty committee, but because the fact that I literally have no upper breast tissue, like no breast tissue folks, this might be so weird to be doing right now. I'm probably gonna be like violating some YouTube terms and put it as an adult video, like my bra free video, got 18 and overed and I'm like really you have to be 18 for me to talk about why you should or shouldn't wear a bra or the benefits I should say of wearing a bra and not wearing a bra but either way that's a whole nother story in its own so I'm definitely gonna get the 18 plus for this but either way it's because of the fact that I don't have upper breast tissue but I do have lower breast tissue I do have a larger size but I'm still part of the itty bitty titty committee because I don't look like I have boobs <laughs> which is so funny and I want to do a whole nother video on that because there's just so much misconceptions about boobs. So many things that I wish people told me about when I was younger and told me how to feel comfortable and not the only voice in my head was that teenage boys making fun of me for my small boobs. Like there's so much more to your body and how you feel in your own skin than the random teenage boys comments which vary so, so much. And as an adult, I have learned that men love my boobs. Men love my small boobs. They love the size of my chest. It works so much. I honestly might even get less matches on Bumble and Tinder and Hinge and all that when I get my breast implants. Who knows? Either way, feel comfortable in your own skin and know that the visual side of things, you're not gonna have to worry about that sag. I never even considered that when I was younger about sag and stuff like that because I'm like, I just felt insecure. I just felt like I hated my small boobs, but now I know like, damn, I don't gotta worry about sex. I don't gotta worry about sex. You might not have to worry about sex too. Who knows? Either way, even if you do have big boobs, don't feel insecure about your sag either. I just have to get some benefits because like you get that cute, cute ass cleavage in dresses and tops. I don't get that. So let me have no sack, okay? And the last thing I wanna mention about visually is something I kind of mentioned before, and that's the fact that it's easier to cover up. And I don't think you need to cover up at all. Believe me, I dress kind of provocatively at certain times. But either way, I definitely don't think you need to. I definitely, I didn't even dress conservatively in high school. I was in the principal's office practically every week. Practically my mom was on the phone constantly because the way I dress because I found so many ways around the dress code I dress kind of provocatively certain days, but I didn't break the rules But I look like I was breaking the rules So it was a constant office visit constant call to my mom type thing So I'm not one to tell you to cover up I'm not one to say you need to cover up But I'm saying if you want to cover up like there's certain days where I just want to be more conservative for my own choice, for what I want to do. And that is much easier with smaller boobs because I don't have to worry about my boobs always feeling like they're coming out and like 
cleavage thing going on, which with that cleavage thing going on, the one thing to know is that it is so gosh darn hard to cover up if you want to, because they're just constantly out there, even in the most conservative top. Like the top that would make me look like I'm about to go to church would make a girl with big boobs look like she's about to go like walk the street type of thing. And that's not something someone with big boobs can really control. They're just out there, they're big, they're out in the open, they're really hard to cover up unless you wanna wear a giant sack over your neck. It's just like, it doesn't work. So I appreciate the fact that when I wanna dress conservatively or non-conservatively, I can easily switch between the two. Though sometimes it's hard to get on the non-conservative end because I wear cute sexy tops and I look like a man boy. But it's okay. I look like a sexy man boy and so will you <laughs> but either way I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of silly video this isn't my typical sit down videos I'm a little bit more like sit downy or I have my vlogs which I post vlogs on Monday and Fridays where I am taking around and being weird and moving the camera around and then I have my sit down videos every single Wednesday I talk about everything from boobs to dating to apartments to a bunch of different things on helping you figure out adulting while I'm trying to figure out myself I would really really appreciate it if you join my journey I have an insane goal that I don't think is humanly possible, but maybe you guys can show me that it is, and that's to hit a thousand subscribers by Christmas. That is a month away. So I'd really appreciate your help by hitting that like and subscribe button down below. Help me get to my goal, share it with a friend. Even if we don't get to a thousand, I'll sure get closer with your help. So I hope you have a great rest of your morning, evening, night, whatever it is for you, crazy fam. Enjoy your small boobs, enjoy your big boobs, enjoy whatever things make you feel insecure that I hope someday you learn to not feel insecure about. And I will see you soon.